Okay, so now I'm going to cut and sub some muscles out. And to do that, I'm just going to give it some more polygons. And I guess I'll work on the face first, actually. So, whoops. Don't delete lower. You'll need those. Okay, so the face. Let's think about how this character is going to be. I kind of like that. I don't know. There was a, a kind of a sad, pouting type look I had earlier. And, you know, the best thing I found is I used this, this frame to kind of establish emotion right off the bat. So head held straight, showing proud. But if all the features go this way, it gives it some kind of a, like a sad emotion. It, you just gotta think of, if if you're a traditional artist, you're gonna have a great time at this. Um, if you are, if you can't draw water from a well, you're going to be, I don't know, a little hurting at first until you start working with 3D enough to be able to to see emotion or the lines like that. Like if you had a furrowed brow, for example. Just putting that in there. So, yep, borrowing some human anatomy here, no doubt. Again, you don't have to know anatomy in this class. Just, just know enough that there's going to be some kind of muscle here to pull the arm. And a lot of artists do this a lot differently. Like, let's say, you know, some use the clay tubes brush. I still use that. I'll probably be using that a lot. But for this initial, for this initial form making, I kind of do everything with the move tool. making me an incredibly slow modeler but that's what time lapse is for <laughs> though I don't like to use time lapse on videos it's very freaking annoying just letting those artists out there that use time lapse know that a student learns absolutely squat from time lapse <laughs> but well through the mundane things I would say but a lot of times I, I've seen some artists just that do videos they blow past everything with a time lapse there's only a couple people I know that are really good with time lapse they
So you can see just at this beginning stage, you know, you're already getting to the point where like all these forms are kind of going in and I guess it, it's important to know that we don't uh, rush up to levels. You know, like I, I've seen students, they go immediately to level seven, uh, blowing past all, <laughs> everything, um, and not even concentrating on how things how things meet. And if you look at their stuff, it's it's really balloon animal like at first. Everybody that plays around with ZBrush for the very first week to creates balloon animals. So don't feel bad if your creature that you make in class has a balloon animal likeness to it. You'll learn over time that uh, you have to raise up to the forms, not rush up to the forms. So I guess for these first initial minutes of this, I'm not, I'm not going to use time lapse or anything. If you need time lapse to make yourself feel good at night, and basically what time lapse is, is you know, I, it, it rushes you through this process without hearing me jabber on about it. Um, you know, take quick time, play this video at a faster rate and I guess that's what you would get if you got the DVDs the uh, fact that you can block me out <laughs> and I could just see a whole bunch of people just running out and buying the DVD going Jesus I wish you would just shut up <laughs> there we go good so that gives me a good start. You know, I'll still use clay tubes, but now at least I got some kind of blocked in reference. I use this frames a lot, you know, this this whole cage. I can't stress how how much stuff I've been able to do just because I use my polygon structure against itself. I look at things, you know, like how how these twist. I also look at the outside edge of stuff. So a little bit of silhouettes. It's very hard to explain all the little things that, you know, probably a modeler can look at to to help them develop a character. You can see right now, I got this. So I'm developing a, a rib cage there. I 
and at the next level what I can do is support that rib cage by moving these closer together and I'm just going to flatten out the stomach Working out some initial spine. How far does those bones protrude? And do I want a spiny tail or one of those monkey tails? Alright, uh, meet me in the next video.